What's up, everyone? Aaron Nagler here, PackersNews.com. I'm here with Ryan Wood of the Green Bay Press Gazette. Ryan, we're looking at outside linebacker, a spot that has bedeviled the Packers for quite some time. Uh, what's your take, kind of general overview of the outside linebacker position as the Packers head into next week's draft? Well, I think the problem that the Packers have in the draft is that really the greatest area of need, not just this year, but really the past couple of years, is a weakness overall. It's not as strong at the top. Uh, you get to past Bradley Chubb, there's question marks pretty much at every uh, edge rushing prospect, and it's also not a deep class. Uh, so it, it's going to be interesting to see if that increases the urgency maybe for the Packers to make a move at, at 14, to, to, to even if they like a DB on the board, for example, to take an edge rusher, whether that be Marcus Davenport or Harold Landry out of Boston College, just because the, the, you get past the, the, really those guys, mm -hmm. you're, you're wondering how many starters are, are, are on the board. and, and, and It gets shallow quick, definitely. What's your take on Davenport? I know kind of you talk to the scouting community, there's a lot of split opinions there. Uh, what's your take on this kid? He's a polarizing guy. You know, I, I think you look at the testing measurables and th they were really good. And it certainly projects as a guy who's going to have quick twitch athleticism, something that the Packers desperately need. I mean, after Clay Matthews and Nick Perry, there just isn't anything there on the depth chart. Uh, but he, he's raw. I mean, he's going to make that, he's going to have to make that transition from Texas San Antonio to the NFL and, and it's, it's not an easy transition to make. He, he's going to have to expand his pass rushing arsenal. Um, he, he's got a lot to work with, but the bottom line is he's going to have to get coached up no matter where, what NFL team he, he comes to. So uh, it'll be interesting. You know, as far as Harold Landry goes, it's, He's, he's a good athlete. He's not a dynamic athlete. He's not a freakish athlete like, like Marcus Davenport has the potential to be. But he is a, a more polished pass rusher. He has more burst, more natural burst off the line of scrimmage. And that that's really that, that, that's, that's the, the crux of what an edge rush is built on. So it, it's going to be interesting whether they go for more of an upside pick, perhaps, at Marcus Davenport. He, he has a, a higher ceiling than Harold Landry. Or if they say, let's, let's go with the, the more sure thing and a, a guy that – uh, certainly has the athleticism to be a good pass rusher, if not an all-pro type guy later on down the line. There you go. A lot of decisions to be made for all the latest on the Packers and the draft. Make sure you're checking Ryan's work at PackersNews.com. For Ryan, I'm Aaron. We'll talk to you soon.